Shimei may have cursed the king, but he was not beyond asking for mercy. And because he bent his neck, he got to keep his head. One of the lovely things about the kingdom of God is that we didn't all come in the same way. Some of us, like Timothy, grew up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord, never knowing a day when God was not our God. Others of us, like Rahab, came in after years of rebellion. No one deserves the mercy we find in Christ. And some of us were high-handed blasphemers before the Lord caused us to bow the knee. God displays just this kind of mercy in 2 Samuel chapter 19. The text, a summary. David had turned a day of victory into a day of mourning, given the death of his son Absalom. Verse 2. Confronted by Joab, David gathered himself and spoke encouraging words to his victorious army. Verse 8. Panic struck Israel. Verse 9. Would they have David back after anointing Absalom as their ruler? Verse 10. They agree to bring David back as their king. But what does that mean for some of the leading characters involved in Absalom's rebellion? What does it mean for Shimei? A few chapters back, we saw Shimei throwing stones at David as he departed Jerusalem. David would not strike him down then, but perhaps he was willing to upon his return across the Jordan and back into Jerusalem. Shimei went quickly to meet David, crossing over the Jordan River to meet the advancing king. Shimei fell down before the king, verse 17, and repented, asking for mercy, verse 19. Abishai wanted to put Shimei to death, but David said, Shall there any man be put to death this day in Israel? For do not I know that I am this day king over Israel? Then King David swore to Shimei that he would not die, verse 23. Mephibosheth, the son of Saul, too, came to see David, testifying his allegiance to the king. And Barzillai, the Gileadite, who had supplied David when he fled Absalom, saw David across the Jordan. David welcomed him to come live in Jerusalem. But Barzillai was 80 years old, and he asked David to take his servant Chimham in his place. David's return to Jerusalem resulted in tensions between Israel in the north and Judah in the south. Verse 41. Repentance and mercy. Shimei was in the soup. He was a big man when the king was leaving Jerusalem, but now the chickens were coming home, as they say. Shimei may have cursed the king, but he was not beyond asking for mercy. And because he bent his neck, he got to keep his head. The Lord Jesus Christ is the kind of king who is good and kind to the undeserving. There are many Shimeis in his kingdom. And this is encouragement to every God cursor out there to turn while you still can and find mercy bowing before the king. The plain truth is that there is no time to wait. Today is the day of salvation. Shimei went to King David in haste, we're told in verse 16. He got to David before David crossed the Jordan and came back into the promised land. And the fact that that is in the Bible tells us that that piece of the story is not without significance. The king was coming back to his land. We hear in Matthew chapter 21, verse 40, that the Lord of the vineyard will come to his vineyard and destroy the ungodly. When that day comes and Christ splits, not the Jordan River, but the heavens and returns, once he is through those heavens, it will be too late. By the same token, once you return to dust, it will be too late, just the same. Psalm 95 says, Today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your heart. You are promised no tomorrows. But the king whom you have cursed is merciful. Bow before him like Shimei and you too will not die. As you know, there are several good books on Canon Plus, and one of my favorite books on Canon Plus is John Knox's Stalwart Courage by Doug Wilson. We are in a time where we need a whole lot of Knox. Some people objected to the way that he ministered, and Doug Wilson does a wonderful job of defending him and commending him as a great reformer. He loved the truth, and he loved the grace and mercy that is found in the Lord Jesus Christ. You have the opportunity to listen to this book on Canon Plus, and you have the opportunity to get started for only 99 cents. All you need to do is use promo code JARED99.